Hey, what is up guys? Andy with a YouTube video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build a gaming computer for $300. Alright, so before we get this video started off, if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the bell beside it, that way next time I post a video, you'll get a notification and never miss a video. For our CPU, we're running the Intel Pentium G3258 processor. It has two cores and a base clock of 3.2 GHz, but the good thing about this processor is, is that it's very overclockable even with the stock cooler and not the most expensive motherboard. For the graphics card, we're running the Radeon RX 460. It has a memory speed of 7000 MHz and 2 GB of memory, and in my opinion, it is the best graphics card you can get for under $100. For the power supply, we're running the EVGA 430W1. It is 80 plus certified and has a 3 year warranty so if anything ever goes wrong, you can always get it replaced. And in my opinion, this is an absolutely an incredible deal for a power supply for it only costing around $30 on Amazon. For the motherboard, we're running the MSI Intel H81M E33. <laughs> it is a micro ATX motherboard. But it's easy to overclock with and it has plenty of ports and slots just like any other motherboard would, which is really nice. For the memory, we're using the Kingston HyperX Fury. In this build, we'll be using two sticks of the 4GB, which in total will be 8GB, to take advantage of the dual channel capabilities. It is clocked at 1600MHz, but has the interesting ability to be able to overclock all by itself based on your needs without you having to do anything. For the storage, we're running the Western Digital Caviar Blue. In this build, we'll be using the 320GB model, which isn't a huge amount of storage, but for a $300 build, this is perfect. It runs at 7200 RPM, which is just fine, and the thing I like about Western Digital's hard drives is they're reliable and they're cheap, which is exactly what we're looking for in this kind of build. For the case, we're running the Xion Performance Micro ATX case. It has support for USB 3.0, it fits large graphics cards and has a spot for an SSD. I really like how it has that matte black and the blue finish to it. It makes it look really nice and it really stands out to me. But that's pretty much it for this video guys. The only thing I have left to say is that depending on what's in stock and so forth that this price could go up or down just depending on what it is. So please keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it for this video guys. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Um, if you have suggestions for what kind of videos I want to do, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, but thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you guys next time.